In the small town of Athens, Georgia, police receive a phone call about a local break-in. Almost $600,000 worth of assets have been stolen and the caller, 28-year-old Jimmy Zong, an unassuming Chinese-American man living by himself in a bungalow. Investigations begin, background checks are made, and authorities soon discover something completely astonishing. Jimmy Zong may have been responsible for over $3 billion in stolen Bitcoin. Jimmy Zong is an interesting man. He's on the spectrum and doesn't have many friends. Throughout school, he was bullied viciously and remembers randomly being punched in the face. Being naturally intelligent, he excels at school and spends most of his time alone. In his adult life, he owns a boat, jet skis and expensive cars. He spends his time partying, reportedly spending over half a million dollars in Athens downtown district. He even takes people out on private jets, handing them huge amounts of money to do as they wish. Zong's home is an urban fortress fitted with cameras and he often helps the Athens police with nearby break-ins and DUIs, so it was very mysterious when somebody broke in and seemingly got away. A few years before his phone call, Zong was at a local Athens restaurant chatting up some girls as the big time player he is. He tells them he has $30,000 worth of cocaine back at his home and they should come back and party with him. Little did he know that an off-duty police officer was at a restaurant listening in, and after a few phone calls, Jimmy is arrested for possession. This helps us understand Jimmy. He is a man constantly wanting more, somebody to just keep him company and have a good time. And as authorities investigate Jimmy's break-in more closely, they keep asking the same question. What is he doing with that amount of cash? I was a nerdy kid from small town Georgia living a Wolf of Wall Street kind of lifestyle. The Athens Police Department soon get an interesting call. It's from the IRS and they are investigating a 2012 hack into the dark web marketplace called the Silk Road where criminals go to sell drugs, guns and illegal pornography. $50,000 in Bitcoin had been stolen and considering this was in 2012, that money would be worth $3 billion today. The IRS was stumped on who had stolen this money until they get an interesting clue in 2018. They discovered that Zong had transferred $800 worth of Bitcoin from a wallet that was involved in the hack to an exchange with a policy called Know Your Customer. This policy requires customers to provide their name and identifying information. Jimmy, of course, uses his real name. Now police have a lead, but they need to investigate Jimmy carefully, so they hatch a plan. Three police visit Jimmy pretending to be there investigating his break-in, not mentioning the fact that they are also there to investigate a much more serious crime. Secretly recording their conversation, they find that Jimmy was lonely and very happy to have someone to talk to. He even shows them around the house, revealing to investigators the suitcase he uses to store a thousand pound in cash. Most importantly, he shows them his computer servers, which he uses to mine Bitcoin, and investigators see an enormous amount of online money. The police now have evidence linking Jimmy directly to the 2012 hack, all because he made a phone call for a stolen 400k, quite a small amount considering the man has billions of dollars. A search on Jimmy's house soon begins, but before they do so, the police must hatch a clever plan to ensure that they catch Jimmy with his laptop open and unlocked. Having access to his laptop is the crucial key to this Bitcoin mystery. Pretending to be the regular old police again investigating Jimmy's recent break-in, investigators make their way into his home and continue with routine questioning pertaining to the robbery so not to spook the crafty Bitcoin bandit. At this point they have managed to get Jimmy to leave his laptop unattended and walk outside so he can show off his scenic balcony. It was at this point where investigators made the call to the backup teams and before you could say seed phrase the house was swarmed with police shouting all the official nonsense that you hear in the movies. With Jimmy arrested and the laptop in safe hands, police now conduct a full search of the property. Upstairs they find a popcorn tin containing towels and inside was a circuit board computer containing millions of bitcoins. They also find a safe with physical bitcoin in it and a large amount of cash. Jimmy's life of luxury was finally now up. 
it's discovered that Jimmy was an OG on Bitcoin, helping write the code and offering suggestions on how to improve it. He was browsing for cocaine one day on the Silk Road and discovered a fatal flaw. If you double click the withdraw button, he could take out more than he put in. According to Zong, the creator of the Silk Road was so impressed when he heard about it, he agreed to let Zong keep the $50,000 that he'd stolen and also gave him £5,000 more as a reward. In court, Jimmy pled guilty to one count of wire fraud. He had no friends or family there with him. He also asked for no jail time so he could spend the remainder of his days with his closest friend, his dog Chad. So this begs the question, while this money was initially stolen, was this a major theft? Because of Jimmy's one phone call, the US government has now amassed a $3 billion profit. Was this a criminal or a lonely man with a hidden secret? The judge sentenced Jimmy to one year and one day in prison, and the Athens Police Department never solved the mystery of who broke in and stole money from Jimmy's home. I guess we'll never know.